Hey folks, just a reminder to check out my other channel, How to Rock Spirit, where I talk about everything under the sun, from astrology to mysticism to psychedelic yoga to practical materialism and philosophy too. Hope to see you there. Namaste. Good day YouTube, how's it going? <clears throat> Thanks for watching my show, my name is Dustin Cormier, and this is How to Rock a Campfire. Uh, today's episode is going to be on a classic 70s tune uh, written by Eric Clapton and I believe played in Derek and the Dominoes uh, called Bell Bottom Blues. Now, uh, they do this and then obviously it's much more electric and there's all these cool harmonies going on on top and stuff, right? And you've always got like Eric Clapton's guitar doing lead notes in there that are very key, um, which I do suggest you listen to and try to learn. Uh, what I'm going to try to do for us is to give everybody... Uh, sense of the acoustic rhythm background that you could play um, and you could play this song with uh, some friends and stuff at a campfire um, without all the lead stuff you know like, it's still good to learn especially when you got another person but I'm gonna show you guys how to play the rhythm so you can sing it uh, if you love the song and if you want to sing it this is a good song to sing with a bunch of people uh, if they know it especially you know do you want to see me crawl across the floor to you um, I don't want to fade away. Everyone knows that that part and it's like, it's usually a good time when you sing it with a bunch of people, right? <clears throat> oh, it's a little bit high and it's kind of a weird tune, you know, but, um, it's definitely doable anyway. So I guess we'll just start it off. Um, uh, I would start it off just coming into the, the C. Uh, he kind of does like a pedaling thing where he kind of goes like from the low note so it's like c and then uh you know a string then d string and then the g and the b string and then back to the d string and then uh you sort of do like an it's an e seventh uh but you hit the b which is that second fret of the a string uh, and that kind of gives it's like an e seventh slash b e seventh with a b on the bass And that's what brings into the A minor, right? C. Uh, yeah, we're going from that C to the E seventh slash B, and then uh, A minor, and the same pedaling, right? Boom, 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 boom. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, C, E seventh slash B, and then A minor. And then what you do is you go from the A minor to the A minor slash G. And what that is an A minor with the G on the bass. Basically, uh, you're just taking your from your A minor chord, take your third finger off, you put it on the third fret of the E string. Uh, you can leave this G string open because it's sort of like the G note. In the, it's like an A minor seventh that you're kind of doing. A minor seventh with the G on the bass, right? Uh, and you want to try not to hit the low A string by putting the fat part of your third finger over top of that A note and it kind of deadens it. And then that's when you go to the half G. And then uh, they do the thing where it's like uh, And if you want to do that, this is how I would do that part anyway, is uh, F note, E note, D note, C note, and then uh, the, the D note, and then the, to the B. But anyway, what I like to do for the acoustic part is just basically go from the A minor, A minor slash G, F, G, F, F, G, right, with a kind of syncopated rhythm there. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, that's kind of what I'm getting there. Down, up, down, down. And then as soon as I hit that uh, that down, I try to like deaden the string so it kind of gives it a syncopated effect. Uh, and then and then a quick upstroke before you go to the G. It's a pretty quick change. Down up, down up, down down up down. Right. Bell bottom blues, you made me cry. I don't want. So 
that's when we go into the A. So notice on the first part of the verse when we go, I don't want to lose this feeling. The bottom blues, you made me cry. only do that second F to the G the first time and then the second time in the verse you go from the C to the E7 slash B to the A minor and then uh, if, if I could choose a place to die and then you just go from the F to the G right into the A major do you want to see me crawl across the floor do you? so you're going A A major 7 to the F sharp F sharp minor, and then D, E, and then to the A again. Do you wanna hear me beg to take me back? F sharp minor, D, E, and then this is when they actually go to the. So it does change slightly there. Uh, basically, um, you're going from the. A, uh, blah, sorry, let's just go back here a little bit. Um, do you want to see me crawl across the floor to you? B, B, A. Do you want to hear me beg you to take me back? I'll gladly do it because I'm... Uh, so, yeah, it's a weird phrasing in this song. Uh, do you want to hear me beg you to take me back? This is the, the chorus part that everybody knows. A, A major 7th, A, A 7th. Uh, you can either do your A 7th, like, you know, uh, an A style chord with your pinky on that high E, or you can just, like, uh, I, I like to just keep the, the chromatic going down from this A note to the A major 7th, to the A 7th, to the D, right? Uh, and then you stay in the D and then go to the E. second time this is when you go to the basically the same F F G that we do on the first part of the verse right run up from that G to the C. Uh, right, and I'm just going G note, then open A, second finger on the second fret of the A, and then my third finger to go to the C note, and when I hit that C, I've got my second finger ready on the actual C chord. Once I was, <laughs> Once I was strong, but I lost the fight. Chorus times two, but I'm not sure if that's right. Uh, if anything, yeah, right at the end is when it'll do the uh, I don't want to fade away part twice. So um, af after the second chorus, I think we're gonna go right on to the third verse, right right into there, right? Um, then, uh, we'll, uh, I don't want to fade away. In your heart, I want to stay.
bunch of 60s tune, you know? Um, and then we go to the chorus again after that. Do you want to see me crawl across the floor? You blah, blah, blah. Do you want to hear me beg you to take me back? I'll gladly do it because... And then this time when you go to the I don't want to fade away, uh, I would say that you do it twice. You go to the chorus twice. I don't want to fade away. Give me one more day, please. I don't want to fade away. In your heart, I want to stay. I don't want to fade away. Give me one more day, please. I don't want to fade away. In your heart, I long to stay. So I guess like they would do probably do a solo if you're gonna do one. I don't have anybody doing this tune with me, so I won't do one today. But if I am gonna do a solo for this tune, I'd probably do it like after the second verse, um, or second chorus, excuse me. You know, after the second time doing the chorus, and then you go through a whole a whole solo thing, uh, and then after the whole solo, uh, you'd probably come right into the chorus. That's why it says chorus times two there. I'll bet. Um, so yeah, sorry, let me reiterate. Uh, first verse, and then chorus, second verse, second chorus, solo, third chorus, third verse, fourth chorus. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm glad I got that figured out. So I've just shown you guys the whole tune. So since I've just shown you guys the whole tune, now I'm actually going to play it for you so you can see what it sounds like going the whole way through. Hopefully I don't duff it, uh, but I think I'm I think I'm all right. I'm, my voice is in a good place tonight. My voice wavers like crazy, man. I don't know about you guys, but God, sometimes I'm just really on point, and sometimes it's just hopeless. Uh, I can always, you know, the guitar doesn't have a voice box. That's what I love about the guitar is that it's like kind of always there for me, and my voice isn't always there, you know. But at least I can still give her on guitar anyway. But my voice comes and goes, and tonight it's all right. <clears throat> learning to stretch my vocals and stuff you know I do like exercises before uh, I've been trying to do exercises before I do these lessons now oh and then go up to like the next one getting better at it I'm not great at it but I'm getting better folks you know your voice is an instrument just like your guitar is you don't want to blow it out you know you can replace guitar strings, but if you blow your voice out, it's kind of, you know, <laughs> costs a lot more money, you know? I don't have, like, money like John Mayer to get a new set of vocal cords. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so I hope you guys enjoy this. This is Bell Bottom Blues.
Yeah, shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the whole thing. that'll do anyway yeah i tried to go for something of a solo there but you know <laughs> that's kind of how we roll folks <laughs> i've never really tried it before it sounded all right though I had this cool kind of thing going i don't know i do a lot of funky slidey stuff like that anyway that's how we do it folks you know we're always learning and burning <laughs> um that was bell bottom blues by uh written by eric clapton played with Derek and the dominoes uh, I'm Dustin Cormier for How to Rock a Campfire. I hope you guys enjoy that, and thank you very much for watching my channel. It means a lot. Um, I've got a lot of fans that have just been watching me forever, and I have the utmost kudos for those people for sticking around and watching me do this crazy-ass hippie shit. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.